Verbal and Visual Brand Attributes, or VBA, help designers establish a brand identity for a product. This is one of many tools that we use in the strategy phase to align with client expectations, create a strong design vision, and gain perspective. Verbal attributes define how a brand wants to be perceived, and visual attributes provide more context through imagery. Together, they create the foundations for designers to build upon in the concept phase. Early in a project, we use this foundational tool to spark creativity, inspire fresh ideas, and guide our design team towards a brand vision. Let's jump into Miro to demonstrate how this can be accomplished. In this example, I will be focusing on a product that has a large Lang component. Starting with the verbal brand attributes, the first step is to identify key descriptors that align with the core brand. These will be primary verbal attributes. I've chosen futuristic, uplifting, and exciting as the three pillars for the client example. Next, I added a few secondary, more specific characteristics to support and further ground my primary attributes. All of these will help to set the tone and pave the way for a brand vision. Now that we have our verbal attributes, we can apply themes, personas, and influences. These additions will help designers hone in on the brand vision, better understanding the target market, and build momentum in the design process. Let's look at exciting. We might ask ourselves, what does exciting mean in this context? I associate this word with the atmosphere of like a party or a nightclub. I further refine it with colors like purples and blues to support an inviting atmosphere. The vibrant rich colors are more stimulating than a muted color palette you would see in a brand trying to create a more relaxed feeling. For personas, the goal is to define who you believe your target end user will be. We won't go into too much detail here, but we can assume there is a backstory illustrating how they are part of a target market in this example. Lastly, I gathered supporting images to show how these colors and personas could be used together to shape the vision for the brand. Moving on to visual brand attributes, these will expand the brand vision and help to set the design direction. The goal is to find imagery that successfully communicates our verbal attributes. During this step, it is also important to give clients the opportunity to select elements they prefer within these categories. This helps to streamline the design process so designers can get a better understanding of the vision that words fail to convey. Once the VBA is set, designers move into the concept phase with a strong vision to communicate their intent with the rest of the team. And that's it. If you like this or if there's something else you'd like to learn, leave a comment.